Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be kind of reviewing and then showing you guys how I applied my Kiss Gel Fantasy Nails. Um, I've been doing acrylics for a while and my nail lady got really sick and wasn't available and I had a friend that recommended gluing press-on nails in between going to the salon so I thought I would try it so last time I did them in this color they worked really well um, this box here I had bought at Walmart and it was like $6.97 this one I bought at CVS yesterday and this one costs like nine bucks so it's a little bit costlier to buy them at either Target or CVS um, so as much as I don't love Walmart they're cheaper, they win. Um, but you can get different colors. These ones here were a short, and then these ones are a medium. I really like my nails on the shorter side, and these ones were perfect. So I'm intrigued to see how these are gonna work. Um, the shape is amazing. It's exactly what I like. They also have different shapes, styles, colors, anything you're looking for, they have them. They also have French tip ones. Um, French tip glitter ones, all different kinds. So these were perfect. They're literally glue on and go. So when I think press on nails, I think the ones with the stickers that last like five minutes, you can't do anything and that's that. These include the stickers if you want to do it, do it and go that way. I bought this glue. This glue is perfection. And I think because I'm using the front camera, all this stuff is backwards for you, so I'll make sure that I link all the info down below for you. Um, but this is the Kiss Power Flex Brush On Nail Glue. It looks like nail polish. It's super easy to use. You just put one good coat on, pop on your nail, and there you go. So I am going to open this kit up and we are going to put on my new set of nails. Um, last time I did my nails, I marked on my box the sizes that I liked. In this box, it comes with 28 nails, and it has two sizes of each. So it's like 14 different sizes. I have tiny hands and tiny nail beds. So the fact that I can find nails that fit me are awesome. So this has, like I said, 14 different sizes and two of each. So obviously, so they can match. Um, these held up for two and a half weeks, which is amazing. For six to nine dollars, that is amazing. I have kids. I'm constantly buckling and unbuckling car seats, switching car seats out of cars, cleaning kids' rooms. I'm always doing dishes. We have a spa in our backyard, so I'm in the spa. My hands are being soaked. I color my hair, so I'm constantly washing and coloring my hair. All of that stuff and for these to last two and a half weeks was amazing um, I did notice that your pointer fingers we use those the most in addition to our thumbs so those popped off so I did have to replace in that two and a half week time span each of these nails once and then I had accidentally melted my thumbnail the thumbnail um, or I'm sorry the nails in general they melt. I was curling my hair and usually with my acrylics I curl my hair. I hold my nail on the hair on the curling iron because then it doesn't burn my finger. Well, <laughs> it melted my nail. So don't do that with these. I've learned not to do that. So this is what comes in the kit. So let's open this up. So in the kit, it looks all pretty and packaged like that. It comes with the glue. Of course I got this because I like this. Um, I keep this glue in my purse. That way, if I have any nail emergencies on the go, I can re-glue my nail on the go. Then it has all the extras in there. And it comes with this little kit. So this one here, it has instructions on how to do it. And then it comes with a little nail file, one of those like wooden cuticle pushers. Um, and then it comes with the adhesive sticky. So if you want to use the adhesives, to make your nails stay, you can. I don't know how long the adhesive tabs stay. It doesn't really tell me. Um, but it it's guaranteed 
that it will last seven days with this glue, this glue rock. So we're gonna use this. So I have, oh, this little file is different than the other one. It has like a handle, look at how cute that is. So I popped these off already. They were pretty easy to pop off. It says on here to soak them and then file them down. I just kind of wedged my nail because they had been on for two and a half weeks. So I just kind of like wedged my finger or an empty nail in between my nail and the acrylic one and I just popped it off. Um, and then I used an acetone nail polish remover to get all the nail glue off of my nail. Um, so I have already washed and dried my hands so they're free of any oils. So now we're going to get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cute little nail file and I'm just gonna buff my nail beds to give it something to grip to. I'm gonna do it really lightly because I still have the damage from having the acrylics like it's like down here halfway on my nail um, and I clipped my nails really short one because I have a terrible habit of biting my nails that's why I love acrylics um, but I also don't like when you can see your nail too much on the back of the acrylic I just feel like they just end up looking so dirty so I am just going to buff my nail so my glue has a good spot to stick on and then I'm gonna make sure I clean all of the dust off of my nails. These literally are so easy. They take like 15 minutes. Takes all of the work out of having to go to the salon. My husband watches the kids for me. And then spend an hour at the salon. All right, let me put that aside. And dust off the table here. Like I said, it has the little stick, so if you want to push back your cuticles before you do that, kind of get the dust off there. All right, so now I'm going to find my um, sizes on here. So the back of the nails have, uh, have a number on them. So you can see the kit, it all comes apart like that. All my nails are in there. And the back part of the nail oh okay so on these ones it was the like squared off end had the number underneath this one has it on the part that sticks to um your closest to your cuticle oh maybe that's not the cuticle end i lied that's not the cuticle end oh these are like round these are a different shape for me so we'll see how i like these I thought the way they had them in the package, that they were kind of square on the end, but when I stick it on my finger to fit it, it's looking like it's the other way, so let's see. Okay, so I need an eight, and that's what that is, so let's find the other eight. Let's see what sizes these guys are. Let's put this back on so they don't fall everywhere. Oh, I need those, because I need six and what I do I'll show you guys here I just stack so like this is a six and a six so I just stack these together I'm gonna make sure that they fit before I put them on there so I'm just gonna stack them together and I'm gonna put them in order on the table so like these are my sixes and they go there so this I think was the seven or was that a six or a nine? I can't tell. That's probably the nine. What I noticed too is the bigger the number, the smaller the nail. So let's see. Oh, that's why. That's the six. That's the six. It's really throwing me off with the way that these ones are curved. Okay, so that's the seven, and the seven is my middle finger. What is that? Okay, so let's get... I can't tell if that's the nine. Okay, so let's see. Let's see that size. That size fits good. That one's a little big, so that's the nine. 
All right. 11, 12, I don't need those. Put those aside. I need, that's a 10. Oop, there's a seven. Okay, so middle finger is complete. 13, that is my pinky. Don't need a five, I don't need a zero. It's a one. It's a two. I need a three. This is fun. Nail hunting. Okay. There is my three. It's a four. What's nice too about having the sizes um, already put aside is that when I have a nail emergency, I can take a size that's the closest to that and kind of utilize that one to fill in during my nail emergency. It's a 12. Oh, I do need an eight. Okay, so now that I have my nails lined up down here, um, so I have them stacked together. So like these two are my thumbs, these are the pointer fingers, the middle fingers, the ring fingers, and then the pinky. So since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna actually start by doing my right hand first. So that way once they have the nails on, I'm still a little bit more skilled as opposed to doing my left hand and then trying to do my right hand with the nails on. I don't know if that makes sense, but if it didn't, sorry. <laughs> so, okay, so we're gonna take our glue here and I'm just gonna apply a coat just like I would nail polish. I'm gonna be generous and I'm gonna coat the entire nail. Make sure you work quickly. Put a generous coat on there. And then I'm just gonna take my nail here, make sure I'm putting it on the right way and that it's straight. And then I'm just gonna use pressure and I'm just gonna push that on. And I'm gonna make sure I push all the way from the cuticle to the tip of my fingernail. Give that a second to dry, and then I'm gonna kind of peel away the edges here for any glue that might stick to my cuticle. And there you go. Look how easy that is. So easy. So much fun with this color. Instant nails. All right, so now let's do the next one. It just makes this so easy. Right now, everybody in the house is asleep. No nail salon is open. And then here I am getting ready for my day tomorrow. Super simple. Perfect mom hack. I don't have to go anywhere. So cheap. The fact that I can get mine to last at least two weeks, way cheaper than going to get a fill. Between the $35 and then tipping them and then heaven forbid I break a nail and then they charge you the three to five dollars to fix each nail, so much cheaper. I can pay 10 bucks because I already had this glue. This glue I think was like three dollars when I bought it at Walmart. Look at that, so easy and they're on. They're on, look, glued on. So now I'm gonna do my middle finger and I'm, it's just like nail polish. I'm gonna take it out of here and I'm gonna swipe off the excess on the back part of the brush and I'm just applying it a generous coat on my whole nail if you feel like you need more you can put more on but just make sure you don't put too much because then it oozes out when you apply the nail on and sometimes it sticks like to your finger or it oozes onto the cuticle or like the side cuticle push that on right there kind of rock it back and forth and these nails are flexible, and this glue has the flex fit. So once it's on and it's glued, it kind of just molds and moves to your nail, makes life so much easier. Stick that on there. Now we just have these two. I'm going like this. We have ah, these two left. All right, so glue that one on. I think what takes the longest is trying to find your set of nails and measuring them. And I always make sure to double and triple measure before I lay them out and I glue them, before I lay them out for gluing, um, just so I don't have any nail emergencies 
while I'm gluing them on. These are different for me. The shape is different and they're kind of long for me. We'll see. But for $9, you can't really go wrong. You, I can literally do these and then decide in the next week, I don't like the color or I don't like the shape. And then just change them, no problem. You don't have to go anywhere. Literally just pop them right off. All right, now I'm gonna put a generous coat on my thumb. And you definitely wanna make sure that you buff the nail bed a little bit first. Just like when you go get your nails done and they use their little electric little tool. Put that on. You want to make sure that the nail bed is clean and free from oil so it sticks and then you buff it to give it kind of a grip and a surface. Hold it there for a second while the nail glue is drying and getting its grip. You can even take your little cuticle stick if you want and kind of move it around on the edge there. And I really like that they stay vibrant. Within the two and a half weeks that I had them on, um, they didn't get dull like I feel like the acrylics, because I usually do the acrylics with the gel. And they didn't get um, dull, and they didn't really, the color didn't change, it didn't fade. They don't get as dirty as the acrylics typically do. Look at that. How Fun. All right. Now I'm going to do my other hand. I'm going to start with my pinky. We're going to apply a generous amount. We got a little bit of glue on my cuticle. Ooh, these are long. <laughs> I'm having a hard time picking that up. All right. These might get take some getting used to. Oh. And that's why I do my dominant hand first. So if I have any issues when applying, it's easier on the dominant hand once I have. I know these are not crazy long for other people, but for me, this is definitely outside my norm. And apparently that one needed more glue. I think I let the glue dry. All right, let's try that. Again, there we go. I took too long to apply that one. All right. There we go, that bad boy's on now. And I'm just going like this because they're metallic, so I'm getting my fingerprint off so I can show you guys. So this time, I'm gonna hold it with these fingers so that way I can apply the glue. What's nice about this too is you know when you get your nails done and you tell them my nail is crooked and then they don't believe you and they just trying to make you think you're crazy. This way if you put it on crooked, either you can fix it or you just know it was your fault and you did it crooked. Because sometimes they sit there and they tell you, no, that's just how your nail goes. No, that's not how my nail goes. Because when they grow out and I paint them, it doesn't look crooked. All right. You can feel it like gripping to the nail and then once it fully dries, dries it you don't even feel anything. It doesn't feel like anything is on your nail. Make sure that one's stuck. Yeah, that one's on good. All right, let's grab this one with my super long Corolla nails. Turn that around. These are great too. So if you have like a, an event coming up and you typically don't like to get your nails done because you don't want to damage them if you know you have like prom or you're going to a wedding or maybe you have some kind of like photo shoot or something that you're doing you don't want to get your nails done and deal with the long-term damage of how much they file off and make your nails so weak but you want to have the look of the acrylics you literally can get an acrylic look without the nail damage because all you have to do is buff your nail a little bit so this is definitely so much better for your nails and I'm doing it at my dining room table how easy is that 
Wait, should have grabbed the nail first. All right, there we go. I'm gonna hold it with these fingers since I'm doing this one. I'm only holding it first on this hand because these are long and they're gonna take some getting used to. I was kind of playing around with the size for my pointer finger. I don't love the sizes that I was, I feel like my pointer finger in this shape of nail with this length is kind of weird, so I wasn't loving it. But once it's glued on, it feels good. It feels glued. It feels like it's there. All right. I'm really liking the metallic. Okay. Last one. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to hold this. There we go. Holding it between these two fingers. So now, generous amount of glue on my thumb there. Can you guys see? As I glue, and I, it's literally just like painting a coat of nail polish. A little bit thicker than you would normally paint a regular coat of nail polish. And then you just stick it, and I stick it up into the cuticle up there and then kind of wiggle it until it's on the nail bed. Oh, in the right spot, And but don't do that. That's not gonna work. I wiggled it too much on that one. So I'm just gonna put more glue. And grab the nail and then just replace that. See how easy that is? It is so <laughs> foolproof and dummy proof. I'm just gonna make sure there's no glue dried on my nail or wet on my nail so it doesn't stick on the outside there. But yeah, see, once it's on and you just kind of wiggle it in place and you can kind of move your cuticle and it just looks like you just got a fresh set of nails for literally a quarter of the price. And that's what I'm loving about these is they're so easy to put on and they're so much cheaper. My nail lady doesn't know yet that I've broken up with her. There we go. Finished product. Look at how easy that was love them so I will make sure I link the glue and the nails from where I got them um, in the com or in the info below and then you can also go to where's their website and I'll put their website on the bottom too and I'll tag I'll tag their Instagram on here because on their Instagram shows all their fun stuff um, it is It's like Kiss Products. Let me see if it's on the other box here. I know I saw it. Oh, kissusa.com. It's right there on the bottom. Um, you can go there and they'll show you all of the vendors in your area or stores that have these nails and the glue. Um, and if you can't get it in your area, you can order it right from the website and they'll send them right to you. I also was looking on Amazon and they're nine bucks on Amazon and they're on Prime. I love Amazon. I wish everything you could get on Amazon. Um, they stopped doing Amazon Fresh in my area, which sucks. Um, but yeah, so there's my perfect brand new nails. Didn't even have to leave my house to do them and had I bought them on Amazon, I would have really not had to have leave my house because they would have delivered them right to my door with free shipping. So if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Um, I'll link my Instagram on there too so you can see my nails in action. When I apply a new set, I try and do a daily kind of update on how my nails are holding up. So if you're interested in seeing daily how they're doing and I will be really honest with you guys daily and tell you I popped a nail off but I glued it back on or I melted my nail or whatever it is you guys can see it so thanks so much for joining along and until next time bye guys